Good morning. Good morning, lovelies. Welcome back to My Plus One. I am Lisa Lovely. And it is brunch time. I am making sweet potato pancakes. Um, it's not going too well. I'm gonna make you mine. There's something special about your love. I think it's one of a kind has worked Friday, Saturday, and today is Sunday. Um, he's sleeping now to go to his last shift of a three night straight um, stretch. It's brunch time and we are cooking sweet potato pancakes. I'm gonna show you my batter. Booyah! Um, yeah, it's a little chunky. <laughs> I, I could have put it in the blender and smoothed it out, out a little bit more um, according to what um, Google is saying. Um, it want, it's supposed to be smooth. I don't care. So this is actually from a sweet potato um, mash that I was doing last night. Didn't really like the flavors of it, so um, I just put it in a container and I was like, I'm gonna re <laughs> redo it with something. So that's what we had this morning, sweet potato pancakes. It's not going too well. Um, they're coming out a little brown, um, but <laughs> I'm not the greatest at pancakes. I'll be honest, Dan is the breakfast guy. He hasn't eaten yet. Usually what he'll do is he'll sleep for a little bit and then I'll wake him up and he'll eat something and then he'll go back to sleep. So that's kind of like what we do. It's one of those days where I feel like I have a million things to do and because Dan is working today, um, it can feel like overwhelming. And I feel like I'm just kind of like going back and forth, back and forth and not getting things done. So to battle this, um, I always just write a list. I do a to-do list um, on my phone and I just kind of click off, boom, 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 boom. Um, and sometimes I end up adding on a million more things, but it just helps me feel like, oh, I, okay, I accomplished one thing, even if it was just like putting something like washing clothes. Um, Dan laughs at me because I put wash clothes and then I put fold clothes because there are two different yeah. elements, they're two different tasks. So in order to make me feel like, hey, I got that done, you know, I could put just laundry yeah. if I wanted to, but I choose to put wash laundry and then fold laundry as two different tasks. But again, it makes me feel like I got something done. Um, I'm staying on track. Some things are more um, higher priority than others. So I kind of um, have to um, visually see what needs to get done. And like I said, towards the end of the um, day, sometimes I feel like I, I did a bunch, but then I added um, a whole lot more. But it's first day of the week, kind of how it goes. And I have some goals this week that I kind of want to knock out, especially for myself and um, for Kellen. So this week, um, I'm really kind of trying to push um, keeping him on a schedule, um, kind of like a mock schooling type stuff. Um, so I'm going to write out um, a curriculum for him so we can build up on his speech. His speech is really good, but um, I want it to be better. And that's with every um, every child. There's always something that you can do better. Same thing with me. The, my, my diet is okay, but I could do better. So I'm really trying to plan out meals, um, get his curriculum going. So he's kind of like on schedule. Yeah, so that's the goal for this week, um, to staying organized and getting things done. So like I said, it's going to be a busy week. Um, come along with us. So lowering the temperature on this stove, I have it on medium and um, it looks a lot better. So this is how they look. <laughs> they don't look as crispy. So um, low and slow, duh. Um, and they're coming out really good now. So I'll tell you how it is. Alright, so it's afternoon time and it is dinner prepping time. Um, it is 4.30 now. Dan usually wakes up around like 5. He's going to leave for work maybe like 5.50. So now I am making dinner. Some, some doing meatballs. Meatballs and maybe some like stir fry. Um, stir fry veg. So um, this is a chicken and beef. This is a chicken and beef um, ground meat. I added my green seeds into it already. I added onion powder, garlic powder, salt, black pepper, um, nothing really too fancy. Maybe some like Creole seasoning. The sauce on the other hand is usually where I kind of like jazz it up. Um, I try to usually do like a sweet and sour sauce. Um, probably do like a brown stew kind of um, cause I don't have all the ingredients for like a sweet and sour sauce like I usually do for the meatballs. But it's kind of just one of those winging it type meals. Um, when you don't have all the ingredients for um, something, you kind of just have to improvise. 
So like I said, I'm gonna do probably like a brown stew um, with maybe some white rice and some vegetables. Is it all mixed up? I don't know if I'll do all, I don't know if I'll use all this meat. Sometimes I'll use like half of it because it is two packs, one pack, one or like one pound of ground beef, 85 and 15, and then one pack of ch ground chicken. So sometimes I'll do like half of it meatballs and then half I'll just do like a mince. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready, cold, ready? Okay, so one cup of red comes is added and then I guess mix it all up. I'm gonna actually use the whole thing and make a bunch of um, meatballs. What I don't end up using, I might freeze. I use a tool um, to make my meatballs like perfect size. And got it at Aldi for me. It is, let me see if I can find the brand of it. Probably no brand of it. But it's like you put all the meat in these little compartments and then you cover it up with this part and you just pop them out you are meant to be able to put them in the freezer sometimes you need to like kind of form the, the meat again so you can cover it up put it in the freezer get them hard kind of shake them up and then pop them out like an icicle and then cook them i'm cooking them right now so i just kind of need them to form i lay them out like this and then i kind of just glide a knife to make sure that they're all kind of filmed um to the to the brim cover it up Flip them over, kind of shake them into place. This is the brand, it starts with a C. And then now you just kind of peel back this beauty. Sometimes you got to kind of shake it a little and the meatballs will pop out. So you kind of kind of finesse it a little popped out um, I'm gonna reshape them a little so they're nice and round and then pop them in the pot um, I think I'm gonna use coconut oil and cook this
Okay, so you're gonna sear these, um, wash them maybe like a minute every side, I guess. Um, and then I'm gonna try to finish up the ones here. Sear it nice and brown on all sides. Then I'm gonna make a sauce, throw the meatballs back in there and then simmer it for a little bit. about cooking is sometimes you just kind of go with the flow it's still not done so um, sometimes you know you kind of end up improvising sometimes you end up improvising when you're cooking so I added some coconut cream um, to this like brown stew thing that I was making still making the rice um, Dan is leaving in like 10-15 minutes so I'm trying to finish up the rice um, but in the meantime he's getting um, a little bit of food now so this is just a stovetop and the chicken and beef meatballs Bye -bye. You have your watch, Shay? Yeah. Your wallet, your keys. Mm-hmm. I will. Your mommy getting this? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Will Smith, brother, what is going on? What is going on? Like, I'm all about protecting your wife, protecting her name, but yeah, I'm gonna have to have Dan waiting on this to me. But like, what? Love, I think it's one of a kind. There's something special about your love. I want it all the time. Yeah.